Interesting, I didn't notice, but what we have there at the end is just the sub base. So what would happen if we doubled if we doubled that up? Oops, no. No. Okay. Alright, so let's see what that sounds like with both of them. Alright. So uh, that was that was sub base. So we're actually an octave lower than we want to be. So I'm going to grab all these and I'm literally going to drag them up an octave. Let's see this. This first one's on an A. So we're going to highlight them all and we're going to drag it till that one's back on the A. All right. So now we've we've lifted it up an octave. You know, it occurs to me, um, it occurs to me that uh, our dear friend Peter Hook, Peter Hook played uh, played bass on the upper strings. And the reason he did that was because um, the guitar was so loud, he couldn't hear himself playing. And uh, that, that helped define the entire sound of post-punk was because he couldn't hear himself playing. All this stuff, it's all, uh, the bass is almost always played on the high, higher strings. So anyway, what if we bring this up an octave? What, what if we uh, nod the Peter Hook, let's see. See, that's kind of interesting. And that kind of makes me wonder, uh, what if instead of a, uh, what if we raise it up a fifth so we harmonize? That could be cool. Um, so we're on an A, so a fifth is an E. So I'm going to highlight all these and I'm going to drag, drag it there. And oh, let me, uh, let me set our cycle region here. Okay, so that's a lot, right? Um, so what we're going to do instead, let's undo that. Still keeping that off. being some automation on these tracks, messing around with the volume. No, we don't want any of that. We don't want any of that on this track. So we're gonna delete visible automation. There we go. All right, now it's here for real. That's wrong. I don't want any automation on this channel, I don't think. So uh, automation is the way you control parameters. You pretend uh, you're basically uh, you're basically like drawing lines that correspond to what would happen if you were um, if you were doing stuff on a mixer. Um, all right, let's see what it sounds like without the boosting. <laughs> That sounds super loud. Um, why is that still at six? Okay, that is super loud. Okay, I kind of like the way that sounds. Um, I do wanna. I do wanna do something with. Uh, I do want to do some automation here. So we're going to add a, we're going to add another effect in here and we're going to do some, uh, some, a little trick that I do for uh, harmonizing. Um, and that is to, uh, that is to run through a, uh, a pitch shift. And I want that pitch shift to be early in the process early in the uh, in the chain, so we'll put it right after that gain. 
And uh, so with the pitch shift, um, we have a mix uh, between the original signal and the um, pitch shifted signal. And I'm gonna turn this off and play it through and let you hear. <laughs> So that's just that. But when we add, we have a seventh coming in here and we're mixing it um, mainly with the dry signal, a little bit of the wet signal. Let's hear it. We should, it should sound like a harmony. Isn't that nice? Magic. All right, so what if we pull this down to a fifth? Let's see what. That's our fifth. Our third is probably going to be off. Yeah, sadly that's off because uh, thirds are where thirds are what determine if a chord is major or minor. So. Fifths are the same no matter what. All right, let's move the mix a little bit. See if I put the mix at 100%, that's the, that's the pitch shifted up a fifth. We're going to mix that to make it sound like the bass is playing two strings. But I don't think we want that all the way through, right? I don't think we do. Do we? Do we want that all the way through? No, that's very muddy. So we don't want that to go all the way through. So what if we did a couple of things we could do? Um, we could put the pitch shift in a in a uh, in an ox, but I don't think we want to do that. So what we're going to do, I'm in automation mode now, so I'm going to be drawing stuff. The first, uh, by default, the uh, the first automation lane is for pan, but if we go down here to the pitch shift, we can select a parameter that we want to uh, that we want to uh, automate, and we're going to go with mix, and we're gonna start the mix. So I'm gonna add a keyframe here. So this line represents that level, it's 3.1, and uh, 31%. So if we drop that all the way down and play here, you won't hear the, you won't hear the harmony note. See, it's just that. But if we go over here, we brought the, uh, we brought the mix up to 31% of the pitch shifted. So it's gonna sound like this. So it sounds like we're doing a nice little, uh, a nice little variation on our part, when in fact all we did was cheat. But it's those production techniques that oh, I love them. All right, so hearing the bass on the way out. Here we go.